So you can uh, introduce our guest. So, Sam, you hear us? Well, yep. you know, you're I'm recording now. Okay, yeah, we're recording. Oh, nice. So say, uh, okay. this is yeah. Max Stearns yeah, on yeah. Jeff Stearns Connected Through Cars. Yeah, I'm here with today's guest. All right, go ahead. Yeah. And okay. there's your, that's who you're talking to. Cool. So, um, why are you smiling? Because we're on I, camera. We're I, fake. So, fake. This is not, we don't act how we really feel. <laughs> we smile. All right. <laughs> All right, so my name is Max Stones, uh, and you are watching uh, Jeff Stones Connected to a Cause. Who's our guest today, Max? Today's episode is um, about Sam Fiorani. He is um, Vice President of Global Vehicle Forecasting um, and Auto Forecast Solutions. Why don't you ask him the one question uh, that we're curious about? Were you newly arrested by the feds following 9-11? Or not? It seemed pretty close to it, yes. Uh, back in uh, early uh, 2002, we were doing a tour of uh, factories in uh, North in Massachusetts. They were old factories, old car factories, and I was with a, a number of the Society of Automotive Historian board members. And our tour guide was showing us all the different factories that were in, in eastern Massachusetts. So the first factory we pulled into was an abandoned building, we thought. It was a chain-link fence. We pulled off the road to take a look at it, got out of the car, took a couple pictures of it, got back in the car, and we're pulling back out into the highway when I got a knock on the window. And I look over, and there's a wow. military police officer standing there, staring at me, and I said, could you please pull in behind the gate? Well, okay, officer, no problem. So we pull our two vehicles back behind the gate. And, and do uh, you have a hint? Do you have any idea or thought why? No idea. We're, I was, we were just completely shocked. We're, we were two vehicles filled with septuagenarians and me. And uh, we were all just on this <laughs> tour. And there was just enough room in the chain link fence to pull off the highway to take the pictures. And we were just about to pull back on when he told us to pull back in. We're like, oh, what's this all about? So we, the officer pulls over and goes, why are you taking pictures of our building? We're on a tour of car factories, and we had printouts of all the places we were going to go to. We're going to these places here, and he looks around. There are all these older gentlemen in the car and me as the driver. And as he's asking us all our questions, a younger MP comes up next to him, and he goes, Oh, yeah, inside there, there's all this, this equipment for the, the assembly line and where they pull the cars across. It's still in there from, from what was 80 years before at that point. And... Uh, we all looked at each other like, oh, what's going to happen? And finally, mm. the officer let us go. We were sure he was going to take our cameras. But uh, wow. they were they were afraid this was a uh, – they were we were casing the joint for some attack on a federal building. So when you had all these printouts of your itinerary, all of the factories you were going to visit, did it look like maybe for a minute you were casing these to decide <laughs> some kind of attack? Well, there was a whole variety of, of buildings, but they were all older buildings. Most of them were factories 70, 80 years before. So it wasn't like they were all, they all had something in common aside from being automotive factories, but they were all uh, older, you know, nearly a century year old warehouses. Got it. And then, of course, the inside of your vehicle looked like the cast from the next Cocoon movie. Absolutely. No, they were, they were all these old, older uh, historians, and it was just, how could these guys be planning something against the country? They, they, can, they can barely get up into the Lincoln Navigator I'm driving. It could have been genius. This has been Jeff Stearns, Connected Through Cars.